So now let's talk about double collar ties and understand that double collar ties are only good in my opinion from this position if you already forced your partner a bit down. So if the head is almost lower or lower than the shoulder line. If I have double collar ties from here, I give him double elbow ties. This is not a great position for me. He can duck from here, he can go to my legs, he can just fall, you know, balance me. Okay, you can just do a simple butterfly uh, guard type of game. So I only prefer double collar ties to push. Let's say, for example, I have the wrist, I manipulate him, I bring the head low. So now I can use double collar ties. Well, it's not even real double collar ties because I switch it and push on it. So now if he tries to come back, it's very, very difficult. And from here, I can jump behind his back or just walk to the side. So one more time, if I find myself in double collar ties, I will immediately try to pull him down and use the pushing ribs. Okay, I don't want to stay here. This is not great for me, either in the standing position, nor in the guard position. He can grip my double elbows and off-balance me to a butterfly guard. Yeah, exactly. I don't want this to happen. So if I find myself in double collar ties, I will immediately try to pull it down, connect my elbows to my lower body and push on his head. And from there, we can finally start to go to the back or jump. We will look at this right now.